Hello and welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about a lens that I rented again from Lens Pro to Go, and that is the new Canon 24 to 105 f2.8. This is a um, new lens of its kind. There's never been a 24 to 105 by Canon. That's a 2.8 constant. Typically, this is an f4 lens, and this is an RF mount lens. So I got it to pair it up with my Canon R6. I've been trying to get it for a while. So it didn't really line up with the events that I wanted to use it for. I really wanted to use it for basketball and indoor track and field, but with some delays and some date changes, I finally got it. And so I used it at softball and some outdoor track and field, like high jump or dugout shots. Um, speaking of high jump or pole vaults, you can get up pretty close being the school's photographer. So I can get up against the mat or close to the sand pit on long jump or close to hurdles um, or even finish line shots. So there are plenty of areas that you can make it work to start wide or zoom in, zoom in and zoom out as they get closer to you, whatever it may be. And from my experience, this lens is super, super sharp. It's sharp all the way from 24 to 105, but there are some cons. The cons that I found for this lens is that at 24, there is some vignetting around the corners. You can see some dark corners in the photos if you don't fix it in Lightroom um, by using the lens correction. Um, but with that said, once you do the lens correction or even crop in a little bit, you're perfectly fine. And this was only seen at 24 millimeter from my experience. Um, if I was going to zoom in, I wasn't zooming in just a little bit. So I'm not sure if at maybe 35 or 30, if it would show up, but at 24, it was showing up in the corner of my images, but it doesn't hurt them. You can just crop in or you can use the lens correction, like I said. So with that said, from my experience, it is a big lens um, compared to a 70 to 200. It's about the same size. Um, the build quality is very, very nice though. As soon as I pulled it out of the, out of the case, I was surprised at how well built it felt. Sometimes you get a lens and you're like, okay, that's a lot of plastic. That's a little light um, or too heavy. This lens felt so good in the hands. It felt like a nice clean 70 to 200. And the biggest pro of this lens, I think it, think it is, is that it's all internal zooming. So like the 70 to 200 that they came out with the RF mount, it's external zooming. And from my experience with the 24 to 105 F4 at work at my full-time job, it's external zooming. And same for the RF 24 to 70 F2.8, that's external zooming. And what I mean by external zooming is the lens, when you zoom in, the lens extends out of the body. So there's a moving part outside of the lens. But with this lens, it's all internal, just like the older EF 70 to 200s. And how awesome is that? Um, it is a little big for packing and compared to the 70 to 200 um, RF, it is longer. Um, but with the RF 70 to 200, just give um, some reference. It is the same length if you zoom to 200 on the RF 70 to 200. So it's, if you're used to using the older lenses and packing those, this isn't gonna be much of a change. Um, and having that constant F2.8 is gonna be overpowering any cons of the size of this lens. Having a 2.8 in that focal length range is unreal. It's gonna come in so clutch for basketball photographers from, my ex from what I would think under the basket. Having a 24 and being able to go to 105 a little tighter to like the free throw line or something is gonna be awesome. And be able to go from a huddle shot to like a tight portrait um, is gonna be super awesome as well. I think I'll probably end up renting uh, this lens again next basketball season and give it a shot um, if I haven't purchased it by then. But with that said, I really liked it. I really love this lens. It's definitely something I would sell my 24 to 70 and upgrade to this lens. So um, if that says anything, you know, we're all different. It's all off of experience and um, I'm not saying that it's the best lens to get for everyone. But for me, it would it would um, be hugely beneficial to have that extra focal length range um, past the 70 and be at constant F2.8. So 
With that said, I hope you guys liked this short video. Next up, I will have a video over my new film camera if you're interested in the film photography side of things that I'm doing. Um, but I would appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.